Now, SUVs are definitely the most popular type of car out there, and Volkswagen here have actually updated their flagship model with the most practical space and the most gadgets. Yes, it's the Volkswagen Touareg. Now, this car first launched in 2002, and it's been around for just over 20 years. In 2006, for an ad campaign, it was even featured towing a Boeing 747 passenger jet weighing in at 155 tonnes. Now this particular one is the R in VW's very nice blue colour, official colour and name is on the screen. However, today we've got an on-road driving experience and off-road experience. And I'm also sharing this car with Pete from Petrolped. If you haven't heard of him, you will soon, where he literally drives me into a space without sitting in the driving seat. Yes, that's as crazy as that sounds. But first, the exterior. Now starting on the exterior of the car, now I was actually in a very fortunate position to actually check out Volkswagen's Tiguan very recently and the Touareg, this new one here, is actually very very similar in terms of the new design they've brought out. Now if you look really really closely this actually has an LED strip that goes all the way around the front of the car here directing your attention to the Volkswagen badge and the same also applies to the rear as well which I absolutely love. It's nice to see these strips not always on an EV so this is actually a plug-in hybrid this one. Now when it comes to engine availability, of course it will vary around the world, but in the UK there's engines available from 231 PS all the way up to 462 PS. It purely just depends which one you want to go for. So they're all on screen here just in case you want to check them all out. They also all do feature the form motion tech, which is basically Volkswagen's four-wheel drive. And they're all pretty much capable of doing this off-roading thing later in the video. When it comes to the price, the new Volkswagen Touareg starts from £67,640, obviously correct at the time of recording, which is a similar starting price to the last model, despite all the new gadgets and tech available. However, the one I have here today is a plug-in hybrid and has almost every option ticked, so it's actually around £80,000, this one here today. And as this model in Volkswagen is their flagship car, as in their best, it's a good test to see how good it really is. Speaking of, Let's jump out on the road. Right now guys, so as this is a fun filled day, we've actually got uh, a couple of things hopefully we'll be able to do later. So there's a, a kind of like park assist demo where I believe the new Tuara can actually park itself without anyone in the car, which looks pretty cool. Uh, so I can't wait to see that. Then there's also uh, a potential off-roading thing as well. So we can really see what this car's like because it is of course an SUV, you know, it has full motion, which is Volkswagen's four wheel drive system. So, first impressions, what's it like to drive? Well, of course, it is Volkswagen's flagship SUV. You know, it's right up there, it's just above the Tiguan. So, of course, it has a very, very luxurious ride. But it is also firm, kind of at the same time, meaning you can feel the road and it's very, very planted, which is kind of what you'd expect. Now, when we were having a very small introduction to this car, they did talk about this kind of specialized switch just down in this area, because it being an SUV, you might want to do some off-roading or it could be slippery conditions or you might need to change some of the kind of different drive mode settings it's all conveniently located literally just down here you can flick it around to control you know comfort mode sport mode there's off-road mode snow modes eco modes you name it all sorts and as we're approaching the national speed limit let's try out the sport mode now as this is the plug-in hybrid it will shift now that did not take long to get to the national speed limit for the road. As I said, I only have a very short time with this car today, so I can't put it through its entire paces and you know, test out every single feature. But I am pleased to see that this has a 15 inch integrated display, which looks very, very nice. And Volkswagen did actually say it's now high definition. So the maps are super clear, satellite view and all. Now, just going back to this uh, switch down here, there's also some modes where you can adjust the car's height, I've noticed as well, with some up and down arrows. Again, very, very useful for the uh, kind of off-roading capabilities. Now, one thing to note as well is that I have noticed on the buttons on the steering wheel, these are your kind of classic uh, kind of new style of buttons that manufacturers bring out where you kind of have uh, a flat surface. These are slightly raised, but they're not individual buttons you can like physically press. So just something to be aware of. Now, as with typical UK weather, I think it's about to tip it down, which, um, well, I guess is probably just going to make that off-roading experience um, even more fun. And I didn't bring any wellies, so might need a new pair of shoes after this. <laughs> But before any of that guys, I just wanted to very quickly show the rear seats. Now, this has loads of legroom in the back. Now, um, I've actually got uh, Peter in the front here. Peter, say hi. Uh, hello. 
So yes, a uh, very rare opportunity I'm actually being driven uh, by my driver at the moment. Uh, but yeah, there's loads of room and I could even sit behind Peter as well. So um, uh, Peter, do you disclose how tall you are on? Six the... foot three. Six foot three, yeah. yes. So taller than me and I could sit behind him in this. So yeah, loads of room. Other things in the back, there's climate control. So very nice, everyone can have their own climate control. Looks like it's quad zone climate control. So driver, front passenger, two people on the back. But yeah, absolutely love the uh, ample room in here. And um, let's check the old cup holders. Oh yes, although that is right in the middle, right where your elbow goes, at least there's cup holders here because I have reviewed a couple of cars that don't have them. But um, yeah, you can always have your arm there instead. But yeah, I am loving the sunroof in here as well because it is huge massive sunroof the only um bit where the glass is separated is just a black bar just here so uh yeah it gives that really really airy feeling uh driver could we try out sport mode please uh yes hold on one second uh, just, uh, thank you I'm so much do that to sport mode and uh yeah that's a quick car i wish my car was for you? yeah i wish my car was this fast <laughs> Now guys, we're going to do something slightly different here. Now Pete from Petrol Ped, if you haven't ever heard of him, go check him out, there's a link down below. He's going to be driving me into this parallel parking space over here. And yes, he's not doing it from here, he's doing it from his phone. So if you want to see what this looks like from his point of view... In fact, I was so distracted by not having a driver and being driven into the space, I couldn't actually get my words out. Anyway, what I was trying to say was go check out Petrol Ped on his YouTube channel. He's about to cross 200,000 subscribers, whereas I'm almost crossing 100,000. And we're trying to see who will get there first. In fact, he's also covered this car too. So if you wanted an extra viewpoint, follow the link in the description down below. <laughs> It's all right, mate. Hello, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Parked by the magic of an app. Oh, yes. Now, guys, Volkswagen also have a thing called trailer assist. Now, I personally don't know much about uh, towing or anything like that, so I'm going to watch uh, Pete. He's going to have a go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Cool. So, if I put the car into reverse, on the main screen, um, by the kind of drone view from above, there's a little button that I push to start the trailer assist mode and then I'm actually going to control the direction the trailer is going to go with a little jog wheel that you would normally use to set the door mirrors. So if I start going backwards slowly, if I push this to the right, the display on the screen is showing the car that I want the trailer to go to the right but to do that in here you'd have to put the opposite amount of lock on. So as I go backwards I'm not touching the and I can increase the amount or the angle of attack of that trailer I can still keep an eye on it and then as I'm going round I might want to just gentle the turn out a little bit I'm not doing anything at all with the steering wheel this is just genius I'm gonna put even more lock on it now it's gonna go round and round now I'm gonna start straightening up and then straighten up and now what should happen as I straighten up is the steering wheel goes the other way and I can now back the, this is just so cool. Now, if I pull the joystick back towards me, that will then make the trailer perfectly straight with the car. And it should now just go back in a perfectly straight line without me touching it. And that, that's just genius. I thought the self-parking thing was good, but to be honest, I have, I've got a lot of pride and I actually, let me just make sure that's in drive. I do like parking things myself, but I appreciate that driving with a trailer and parking a trailer is, is a tricky thing. It's a skill that you need to learn. And Nick sat in the back, because you're not old enough to drive trailers, are you, mate? Unfortunately not, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, got my, um, I got my driving license a long time ago so I can drive trailers, but that, that is genius, absolute genius. Right guys, so we are currently en route to the Volkswagen off-road event, which uh, we can see what these cars can do. Because don't forget, as I said, this is an SUV. SUVs are primarily designed to go off-road and it's not something that um, we do often, but yeah, they can literally just go that way and a lot more. So I'm curious to see what, um, what this one's like. And to really put it through its paces, it has rained a lot. The, um, the ground is extremely saturated uh, from the heavy rain and thunder that we had uh, just a couple of hours ago. So uh, 
Yeah. Well, Pete's uh, from Petrol Pad is falling behind in the car at the moment, so um, we'll give him a wave. See if he can keep up with me. <laughs> Off we go. Right then guys, so final part of the day with the Volkswagen off-road event and uh, I've just been around the course with, um, well, Pete, uh, how did you find it? It's great fun, mate. You yeah. can enjoy it. <laughs> cool. Right, let's give it a go. So, into drive. Now, as we were explaining just a moment ago, is that the uh, off-roading capabilities of this car are insane considering it's on on-road tyres, so I've heard. So, um, now I haven't done any major off-roading so to speak but i have taken a uh, a g-wagon uh, off-road before in a quarry which is quite interesting but um yeah it's amazing what some modern cars can do especially when they're just fitted with the um kind of things that would come out in the showroom you know without fitting any off-road gear to them you know cars are very very capable these days and uh, as we have definitely had We've definitely had some uh, rain, which has made, uh, well, I can only describe the ground as extremely moist. <laughs> now this bit's the uh, kind of, uh, I believe the wading depth was up to a metre, or around about a metre? Yeah, about a metre, yeah. Ah. Now that is more than enough for most people, for sure. I mean, most people are going to want to, uh, you know, potentially drive through the odd Ford every now and again that may have flooded a bit. Um, but yeah, it's obviously just showing you how capable some of these cars are. Now as we go through this bit here, we can see how deep this water is. Again, hopefully the cameras can show it because, um, you know, the cameras have uh, got one here and one on the top. It might not actually show how deep this water is, but not something you'd normally come across on the road. Now this next bit definitely doesn't show on camera and it's a kind of gradient test. Um, now it was up to around about 20%, uh, might even be more. Might be able to see on the screen in a second when we go up. But uh, apparently you can stop literally halfway on it and um, it will just hold it. So we'll give that a little test now. We'll just get halfway up this. Wow, look at that. I didn't even touch the brake pedal and we are just holding it here. Currently at 18 degrees. Again, this won't show on camera, but we'll uh, continue upwards. And this is uh, obviously one very, very good thing where you can make use of the 360 degree camera because when you're at that sort of gradient, you can't actually really see that well outside the car. And for this next bit, apparently when you take your, uh, you tap your foot on the brake, don't you? Yeah, just a little bit of the brake because it's a bit of a steep hill. Yeah, so literally as you go over the edge, yeah. Apparently, when you tap your foot on the brake right. here, so I'm just going to put my foot on the brake ever so slightly. That's it. And then, should be able to take your foot Pay off now? Off, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, a little green light on there, see? So. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, literally, my feet yeah, are not feet. touching the pedals right now, and we are going down this extremely steep uh, kind of hill. And um, the noise you hear is just the brakes going on because it's so rocky. And yeah, this is the end of the course here. How cool is that? Well guys, what a day, honestly, checking out this new car, the Volkswagen Touareg. Now, uh, highlights of today, well, there's just so many. We've got the remote park assist kind of thing. I'm not gonna lie, that was quite unnerving. <laughs> I have used systems like that before on other manufacturers, but um, I've not been in the car when someone's doing it before, and I felt the need to touch the brake pedal that kind of wasn't there because I was on the other side. So yeah, that was that was uh, quite something else. And then the off-roading as well. This car could do all that off-roading, which you would assume that, oh, it can maybe go on a field over here or gravel here or a few bumps and that sort of thing. It's four by four, full motion. But no, it has some serious off-roading capabilities. Like I would never have dreamed of taking the car like on those some of those gradients and wading depth up to around a meter. It's crazy. And the engines as well. The three litre diesel, uh, this is the same car that we had here this morning, but um, the three litre diesel I managed to try out as well. Super nice. It kind of puts my own car to shame. And I know there's a bit of a price difference, but yeah. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to the Volkswagen UK team here as they organized this whole event. So uh, yeah, this video would not have been possible without them, but thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you all very soon.